This is a short demonstration to showcase some of the features in Smart Look Mobile SDK recording. Recording is possible for iOS and Android, as well as gaming engines and a number of hybrid frameworks. For all accounts, you can create filters, track events and build funnels, view heat maps, and of course, watch the recordings in an analytical setting. All of this can be done from the SmartLook dashboard, but before we get there, firstly, I'll open an app which is being recorded by SmartLook. Now, obviously you can't see my interactions perfectly, so I'll have to describe what I'm doing. As you can see, this application streams videos and is somewhat similar to YouTube. I'll start by going through these tab menus. I'm sliding up and down the playlist and zigzagging across the screen. And now I'll just get into some multi-touch. Two fingers, three fingers, four and five. And we'll get a look at the interaction accuracy later on in Smart Look. Now I'll come to the top search bar to find something which is a suitable video to showcase the recording quality of Smart Look. Hopefully I can find a trailer which is nice and short. Here we go, this one's 20 seconds, so I'll open this. And once it loads, I'll just open some of these drop-down menus that we can look at later. They'll all be tracked as events. And now I'm just turning my phone horizontally into landscape mode. And now I'll just let this trailer play for a short moment, just so that you can later compare the recording quality with Smart Look. Obviously, I'm not interacting with the phone at the moment, but it's good to get an idea of the frame rate Smart Look can work with, especially if you're planning on using Smart Look in a gaming application. Okay, that's probably enough, so I'll close the app completely and I'll jump into the Smart Look account, which is recording this particular application. Okay, so here we are on the Smart Look dashboard, and we're on the Recordings tab, so I can just press play immediately on the most recent recording. As you can see here, it loads up straight away. On the left here we have the user details, many of which are generated automatically, but you can customize this using our API to show anything you want, really. Now this is the first recording on this phone, as you can see here, but if there were multiple visits, the user journey would appear like this. As I press play, you can see the tabs I touched on earlier. These events are all automatically detected, so you can actually save them directly to the event manager, and this will give you an overview of all the users who have clicked on that particular event. With the SmartLook documentation, you can even add your own custom events to track virtually anything in your application. As I continue, you can see the zigzagging that I mentioned earlier. And actually, now's probably a good time to pause on this fragment to show you how heat maps look. When you press the Build Heat Map button, it'll show you the activity for the specific fragment, but not just for one visitor. This is displaying all of the visitor's activity in this account. Also, when you pause a recording, you can leave notes for yourself or for your team. And these notes are transferable when you share a recording. Simply click the share button, activate a timestamp if necessary, and the link will be shared along with any notes. Now I'll quickly delete this note as we have an active Slack integration for our support team, so I don't want to bother them. I'll press play again, and I think, yeah, here is the multi-touch that I mentioned earlier. As you can see, it gives a solid indication of the exact movement of the application, even with five-finger multi-touch. And next on the search field, you can see that the keyboard isn't visible, nor is the type text in the search field. It's automatically masked due to privacy, however it is possible to whitelist specific fields if you know that the area won't contain any sensitive data. The speed of the recording is also adjustable here, or by pressing the up and down keys on the keyboard. I'll continue now to the part of the recording containing the trailer, and you can see that the drop down menus are recorded, both uh, visibly and as events. Now if I had wanted to jump forward in the recording a little quicker, there's also another option. It's possible to use this drop-down menu to get to any specific fragment contained in the recording. Another option is to move Smart Look into full screen to focus only on the recordings. Now if whitelisting and privacy issues are important to you, you can also choose to record visitors with any of these three styles. As the phone moves to landscape mode, I'll let the trailer just play for a short moment so that you can get an idea of the clarity and frame rate capabilities.
and as you can see the quality is certainly not HD but the frame rate is good enough to capture clearly what the user was seeing on the app while the trailer was playing and really quite good for analytical purposes. And as the recording ends I'll finish up with a few more of the basic features found on the SmartLook dashboard. On the top right you also get some information displaying the device being used, the platform and the build. And then from the Recordings tab, it's also possible to use one or more of the many filters in combination to create segments. And there are a lot of features in SmartLook that I haven't shown in this demonstration, such as events, cohorts, funnels, automated reporting emails, and many more. Now to learn more about any of these features, visit our help section or get in contact with our support team, and they'll be happy to answer any of your questions.